has announced it will send a variety of combat equipment to Ukraine to help Kiev seize a narrow window of opportunity to launch a counterattack against the Russian forces or to help Kiev fend off an expected Russian spring offensive. The 2.5 billion US dollar military aid package will include striker vehicles. This is the first time the vehicle is being sent to Ukraine. The 90 striker armored vehicles the United States has pledged to Ukraine could constitute the main equipment of an entire brigade. This is military mechanics, and in this episode, we will look at the striker armored vehicles. Striker is one of the results of the Army's adaptation to post-Cold War warfighting conditions. This new approach would have the Army adopt a flexible doctrine that would allow it to deploy quickly and be equipped for a variety of operations. The Striker is a family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles derived from the GDLS Canada LAV-3 8x8 light armored vehicle in service since early 2001. The LAV-3 itself is a version of the Piranha 3 built by MOAG of Switzerland, now part of GDLS Europe. Throughout its years in service, the Striker has undergone various survivability upgrades and received kit applications designed to improve the vehicle's ability to withstand attacks. The Striker family of vehicles is built on a common chassis E, with some variants having different mission equipment packages. There are 18 variants. Ten flat-bottom variants include the Infantry Carrier Vehicle, or ICV, Mobile Gun System, or MGS. There are also seven double V hull, or DVH, variants, and an additional configuration of a modified ICV platform, integrating a 30mm cannon. The ICV variant is around 18.16 tons, and the MGS variant is around 20.69 tons. The Striker family of vehicles is powered by a Caterpillar 3126 diesel engine, which produces 350 horsepower. This gives the vehicle a maximum speed of up to 60 miles per hour. Driving wheels can be switched between 8x4 and 8x8 configurations on roads and rough terrain. The vehicle also has a central tire inflation system that allows it to adjust to different terrains, allowing it to travel further across country. The Striker has run flat tires and can travel a few miles before they completely degrade. The Striker is tougher than many other armored personnel carriers. The front arc can withstand hits from 14.5mm heavy machine gun rounds. The armor provides all-round defense against 7.62mm NATO ball rounds. The ceramic add-on armor can also be installed to provide all-round protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. The interior of the vehicle is lined with two protect the crew and passengers from spalling. To withstand mine blasts, the undercarriage was reinforced. Strikers in combat zones are outfitted with steel cages known as slat armor, which provide protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. For this vehicle, an explosive reactive armor kit was designed to replace slat armor. The Basic Infantry Carrier Vehicle, or ICV, holds a two-man crew and a squad of nine infantry soldiers with full gear. Since communication is essential on any battlefield, this vehicle's commander has an FBCB2 digital communication system that allows communication between vehicles through text messaging and a map network, as well as with the battalion. To maintain a situational awareness, the vehicle commander has seven M45 periscopes and a thermal imager display with video camera. 
the Stryker driver has three M17 periscopes and a DRS Technologies ANVAS-5 Driver's Vision Enhancer or DVE as well as the Check 6 Thermal Imaging Driver's Rear View Camera or DRVC system. The M1126 ICV is the baseline vehicle for the Stryker family. It is fitted with a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with an M2.50 caliber heavy machine gun or a Mark 19 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This family also has variants with more advanced and heavier weapons. M1296 Dragoon is a variant of M1126 ICV with significantly improved lethality. This vehicle is fitted with an unmanned turret armed with a 30mm cannon. There is also a somewhat controversial vehicle in this family. The M1128 MGS, the mobile gun system, is fitted with a General Dynamics Land Systems, formerly Teledyne Vehicle Systems, low-profile turret and a M68A1E4 105mm rifled tank gun. As a secondary weapon, it has a .50 caliber M2 and 7.62 mm machine gun. The Army has decided the time has come to retire the M1128 Stryker mobile gun system after a study showed it is obsolete and that its out-of-date cannon and automatic loader have systemic issues.